so here what we're going to do is we are going to uh, we are going to deploy we are going to deploy 7z software through gpo in order to deploy 7z software first of all the very first uh, important uh, the very first important uh, thing is that gpo through gpo you can only deploy msi version of the file now you need to find out msi version of the file what we can do is we can either you have internet on a server so you can download it from here most of the environment you won't have internet on the server but if you need to have internet on this machine and you want to download directly on the server so let's say you want to go here and you want to directly download on this server uh, what you can do is what you can do is is this uh, here i will try to go to google right from here from the server and it will error out because there is no internet on this server. In order to bring internet to this server, all you need to do is to add an additional network card. So here, I, as you can see, that I have only one network card. So what I would do, I would go into 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 the VM settings here, and then what I'll do, um, I will add an additional network card. So it is there is only one network card. I'll add another network card here. So once I add another network card. And this network card, but this next network card has to be bridged if you need internet on a server. Now, if it is added, once it is added, so you will click OK. And then in few moments, in few moments, it will reset up, it will reconfigure the VM. And now, in few moments, I'll try Google again. What it does, it will now try to connect to Google from my other network card. So now, as you can see, in this machine, I have two network cards here. This, this is one, this is second. But this is one way of connecting to Internet. So now, as you can see, on the server, now I am able to access Internet. So what I'll do is, what I'll do is, I'll go to, now, first of all, I need to download 7-Zip MSI. So what I'll do is, here, I will go to 7-Zip, and I would say MSI and enter. And here it gives me these websites. So sometimes it takes you to, to a different website. Make sure you're on the right website. Here it shows you this. Here it shows, so let's go to official 7z. And as soon as you go to official 7z, the file that I'm looking for is MSI version. All I need to do is download the file and then, then press save. As soon as it is saved, as soon as it is saved, open that folder. And now I see I have this, and it is downloaded in the downloaded file. So now the file is downloaded. Now, guys, as soon as the file is downloaded, we don't need to install it. We do not need to install it. What we need to do is uh, I, would, uh, I would minimize everything and now jump on to group policies. Guys, what we did, we created a group policy called deploy 7-zip. Here what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete everything from there, and I'm going to delete this from here as well. So it is deleted. What I need to do before even going to group policy, I need to share that folder where 7-zip file is. So if I go back to my download, it is sitting in a download here. Either you share download, or the best way is that you go on to C drive. So you will do exactly as is in, in, in uh, following the video. Uh, what we do is on C drive, just create a new folder. On a C drive, we'll go create a new folder called called applications. So I'll create a new folder called applications, and what I'll do is I'll right click on this and share it. So you would go to properties and sharing, and in advanced sharing, all you need to say share it, and then permission. Make sure that everyone group has full allow control, and then click OK and OK. It is done. Now this folder is shared. All I need to do is copy the downloaded file that I downloaded here. I would copy this file right from here and put it in the applications folder with the folder that I created. So now the file is now sitting in the application folder. So this is the folder that I just created and I shared it. So it is recording. It is recording and I'm going to repeat that again uh, right after this. So what we do is, I just created a folder, shared it, and then I uh, I created everything in a server. So on a server, I just created this folder, and then what I did, I went into properties and I shared it. So we just shared it. Once it is all shared, what I did, I copied the file right here. Now, you have the file, you have the folder, it is shared. Now our work starts in GPO. 
in GPO, all I need to do is right click and create a new GPO and I would call it deploy 7-zip. I would say this is deploy 7-zip and click OK. And right here within deploy 7-zip, now as I know there are no settings assigned, in order to deploy application, I need to edit it. And as soon as you edit this, within the policies, there is, there is something called software settings. And within software setting, there is called software installation. So you can remember it. This is called software installation. And within software installation, on this side, there is nothing. So let me open that again one more time. I just created a policy, and then I went to edit. And then within edit, I went to policies, and then I went to software settings, and then software installation in computer settings. I would right click and say new and new package. And as soon as I say new package, it will automatically take me to this file. But guys, one thing that you must remember that here you need to provide a UNC path, a network path. You need to provide a network path. In order to provide a network path, what we need to do, I need to say double, double backslash. If you can remember, we learned it long time back, that when you put double backslash, it is a network path. So what we do, double backslash, and then you need to put in the server name, whatever your server name here. So I would I would say this is called Kenneth SRV. This is called Kenneth SRV01, and enter. And as soon as I enter, it should be able to connect. But if the name is not correct, guys, it would give you an error message. So let me confirm the name, because this will give me an error message. Here it's saying this name doesn't exist. Guys, whenever you get this error message, do not panic. This error is just saying that either the name is not right or uh, or maybe this is this, this is not available. So what we need to do, I need to go and confirm the name. How do you confirm the name? You just need to right click on computer, go to properties, and here it says the name. You see the difference? The difference is that I was using 01 and this is just one. So again, I'll go back to my go back to my group policy here. And here, instead of 01, I just change it to 1 and enter. As soon as I do it now, it is showing me all application, all folders. Now, in your case, you might not have so many folders, but you must have application folder because I shared it. All I need to do, double click at, at application, and now I can select this. Guys, the next thing it asks me once it finds the application, it is saying that do you want to assign it? Or do you want to publish it? Publish is already grayed out. It must be assigned. Assigned means that it, it will, as soon as the computer starts, this application will be automatically installed. It won't wait for you. So assign, but publish means that it won't be assigned, it won't be installed, it will wait until you as a user go and select and then it will be installed. So in this case, in this case, it is just being assigned, so we'll just leave default, assign, and then click OK. As soon as it is done, guys, your information is ready. But at this point, I want you to confirm that here, this is the right name, and here you see a network path, not a computer path. Guys, now I'll show you a common mistake that everybody makes at this point. The common mistake is, when you create a new package right here, what people do, they think that, oh, because my application folder is in C drive, I can go into C drive and I can go here. This will work in this manner as well. But guys, it will give you an error message. This software won't be deployed. But and now as you see, the difference, the difference is this one is a network path and this one is a local path. Application on a local path will not work. So for that reason, I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to go and go here and remove and remove this. Now guys, this setting is done. So we created a GPO, assigned a setting. Now this GPO is ready. But guys, what is lacking, it is not linked anywhere. It is not linked. You just created a GPO, you assigned a setting, and now you need to link it. So in order to link it, first of all, why is it not showing me any setting here? Because I need to refresh. As soon as you refresh, it is still not showing me the setting. So which means maybe it was not saved properly. Let me go back again and confirm my settings here. So again, going here, I do have settings.
Uh, it shouldn't. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe because it is not linked anywhere yet. So let me link it first. So I'm going to link it to our domain, guys. Now, when I link it to a domain, it will be linked everywhere, so it will go on to all machines. So it is linked now. Now, right here, since it is linked here, and going to the settings again one more time, and let's see. It's not, it's not normal. But now, let's see. Since it is linked here, since it is linked here, now let me go on to my other machine and just restart this machine. So let me restart it. Let's see what happens. What is the other way of if I don't want to restart it? Then I can I can. But this is a computer setting. This is a computer setting. I must restart it, or I would go and run GP update. I can go run GP update. So right here, if I go, I can say GP update and enter. What is it is doing? It is re it is rerunning all the policies on there. And once it is rerun, the policy could not be updated. Could not be updated successfully. Falling error occurs. Okay, so so on this server, definitely there is some issue. So what I'll do, cause guys, I didn't shut down these machines for a few days now. What I'll do, I'll just restart these machines once. So I'll just go restart these machines just once. Hmm? No, actually in v especially in VMware workstation. In VMware Workstation, I'm restarting my client machine as well. In VMware Workstation, since this is a virtual environment, we are supposed to shut them down uh, uh, gracefully so that so that they can start up. So in the meantime, I'll just pause the video while this comes back. Here, resume. Guys my, guys, my servers are back. Now what I need to do, I need to make sure that if the policy is applied, so here, first of all, I log into my server one. Within server one, what you need to do is you need to log into server one here. And within server one, since it is part of the domain, I would go to open server manager. Within server manager, I need to open, first of all, GPM. And within GPM, at the same time, I log into my client as well. Let's see if their policy was applied. And here, what we need to do is, I need to go to this policy here, group policy and deploy 7-zip. I need to go to settings, make sure that it is defined. It is still not saying it is defined. Okay. So guys, sometimes this happens that I, I defined it, but it's not defining. What I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate this policy again. I'm going to create another policy that is called 7-zip. So the other one is not working somehow. Here, I'm going to go into settings, edit, and then I, I'll go into policy. I'll go into software installation. I'll go into software install package. And here, I would select the package, making sure, oh, this is a local path. I don't need to go into this path. I need to select the server path. And then here, application. Within application, I'll select this. It is assigned. Once it is assigned, I'll make sure that this is assigned, and then click OK. And then, and now here, guys, in this case, it is showing me that now it should show you like this. In my other one, somehow it is not populating this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this other one, and then I'm going to just use this 7-zip. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to I'm going to link it to the domain. Once it is linked, now in order to apply it, all I need to do is I need to go here within the client machine and run GP update. So once GP update is done, guys, in few moments, you should be able to see 7-zip icon installed here. So you should be able to see. So here it is saying. Huh? Share successfully, now create a GPO.
test. Okay guys, just a quick thing I want to show you. This is my second server and within the second server, 7-zip is automatically installed on there. Just to make sure that if this was installed based on the policy, all I need to do is go into CMD and run GP result. And in GP result, the only thing that I'm looking for that if that policy was run or not, it was running or not. So right here, it shows me that yes, deploy 7-zip was run on this server. So, so it is installed. Give me result to see the policy. 